hello guys assalamu alaikum and welcome back to another video and uh, today we are exploring another interesting yeah if you don't know cristiano ronaldo is my one of the favorite player and uh, i really love cristiano ronaldo and uh, the surprising news i received like uh, cristiano ronaldo has converted to islam i mean has taken the islam as the main religion and uh, it's a great news and uh, so basically the news is in the air and uh, we are very much exciting to explore this one like Uh, Cristiano Ronaldo is one of the top most players I mean I mean in the athlete uh, and also as Cristiano Ronaldo is one of the greatest player in the football history and uh, he is from Portugal and basically he played lots of different clubs in his lifetime Cristiano Ronaldo basically is the idol and the is the idol and the influencer for many I mean million of people and uh, Cristiano Ronaldo basically the idol and the superstar for million of people around the world and uh, he played lots of clubs like uh, supporting cp manchester united real madrid juventus and uh, lastly he came in saudi arab and he's playing for al nasser from 2023 and here the things getting interesting like uh, why he came saudi arab and uh, why he joined al nasser so today we will explore a video and uh, from there you will learn lots of things so well things are getting very interesting meet again with the islamic rose chain before we continue it would be good to wa alaikum assalam islamic rose chain before we continue you it would be good for this chain drive like on their TV on your rise world deals for the first time the main reason for his going to sell he surprised us all over the world with his happy see what he said where we begin for tech remembrance of God and may prayers and peace be upon him Muhammad may the best prayers and peace be upon him it was reported in the media what is different is that Portuguese player Cristiano Ronaldo will officially contract on now Saudi Arabia he started in a recent interview with Portuguese radio specifically chose to go to Saudi Arabia even though I received some offers from European country America and Japan but Saudi Arabia was my first choice not because of other the reasons related to the islamic religion this was the reason like why he came in saudi arab i mean saudi arab isn't uh, even that good in football or in athlete but why cristiano ronaldo chose saudi arab i think that's the true reason i was greatly affected by my presence in qatar during the world cup i saw islam up close by following the muslims in qatar and what they do since the portuguese team was eliminated and i went back to portugal I have been thinking and reading a lot about the Islamic religion and some books translated into Portuguese. I sought the help of one of my Muslim friends and had him talk to me a lot about the Islamic religion. This made me think a lot about going to Saudi Arabia because it is the capital of Islam and has the holy lands. The program announcer asked him, "Is it possible for you to convert to the Islamic religion?" He responded saying, "I am thinking deeply about the Islamic religion." I saw very beautiful things in it that I did not see in Christianity or in all other religions. It is the only religion that prohibits drinking alcohol, eating pork, adultery, and other things. I, Cristiano, never drink alcohol because alcohol was the cause of my father's death. Western countries always distort the Islamic religion with false rumors that they are extremist terrorists. I say to the West, you are liars. Islam is always right and you are the ones who distort the Islamic religion and promote your deviant culture. Well, the western actually represent Islam in very bad manner like uh, the all the propagandas and all the rumors always uh, against Islam. I mean, if you live in the Islamic country or if you are in a Islamic state and if you are if you are mixing with the Islamic people, I mean the people are practicing i mean the practicing muslim if you are living with them then you will understand it very much well that uh, islam isn't uh, the religion that hurt people i mean even the prophet muhammad hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he was one of the greatest men in the history of the world and uh, he, basically he was the legend and at, at that time those who are not the believers i mean those who are not in islam they also admire that like uh, how muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam spent his life and uh, i mean the ideology was very much high and uh, those who read the life history and uh, structure i mean the theme muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam gave us was uh, very much impressive i mean this is the last line actually like uh, you can't be better as a human being than him 
he is just the legend and uh, as you can see cristiano ronaldo actually studied islam a lot and uh, that's the effect when you either you want to study or either you want to study for get some errors you will love it because uh, islam is actual peace i mean the true islam i'm talking about not about the propaganda i mean not about the misleading content uh, around the globe like there are lots of misleading contents yeah let's go try to spread these deviant ideas to support homosexuality in arab and islamic countries but soon you will hear that cristiano ronaldo may convert to the islamic religion what prompted him to embrace islam it was a story of spiritual transformation that exceeded all expectations opening the door to a journey full of challenges and the search for inner peace the story began when Cristiano Ronaldo was at the peak of his sporting glory. Winning championships, awards, and titles was almost daily for him. With every achievement, his pictures would make the front pages of international newspapers, and fans from everywhere would follow his matches with passion. But despite this overwhelming success, there was something missing in the life of the Portuguese star. At the beginning of the year, while he was preparing to play a friendly match in one of the... Well, I like that word. Like, uh, something is missing in this world. I mean, if you forgot your creator, then basically what is the purpose of life? So, um, either you are worshipping the false god, or either you are following the false religion, or either you are following the false prophet, whatever you are doing, but if you are not guided in the right way, the life will be, I mean, miserable in any means. Like, when you are knowing that you are following a false one, your whole life was a lie. I mean, basically, your whole life was a lie. So, I mean, it is very good that those who are seeking the truth, I really thumbs up them. And uh, those who are thinking about or those who are just confused what you will gonna do or what you should do, I mean, I really wanna say that uh, just search i mean just go and search for the truth whether you are following the right path or whether it's wrong or whether it's biased or i mean people made it in a different manner like uh, they spread the religion for other purpose uh, like i mean a earthly purpose not in a heavenly purpose like uh, as you all know that uh, after life will come and uh, we'll have to face almighty so whether you are good or bad, you have to, you have to pay for it. So I think it's better to be good. Gulf countries, Cristiano received an invitation to visit a large mosque in the city. He always loved to explore and learn about new cultures. So he accepted the invitation with pleasure. As he entered the mosque, the atmosphere was calm in a way he had never experienced before. Simple decorations, muted colors, and the scent of incense wafting through the place created a reassuring ambience. He had not planned to talk much with the Imam who greeted him, but he was curious. He asked him questions about Islam and the nature of faith and belief. The Imam was very patient and answered his questions with sincerity and humility. He talked about tolerance and inner peace and how Muslims find comfort in their daily prayers. This conversation piqued Ronaldo's curiosity even more, but he was not sure what he was feeling at that moment. After the meeting, Cristiano returned to the hotel but he could not get the Imam's words out of his mind. That night, for the first time in a long time, he was unable to sleep. The idea of inner peace haunted him. Is this what I have been searching for all these years? He wondered to himself. He had lived a life full of pressures and challenges. Success came at a cost, and he felt that something bigger was missing from his life. Well, if I want to say, what is success? You all want to say that, uh, yeah, like, uh, I mean, like uh, living life high and uh, getting a high paid salary and uh, getting a beautiful wife and a house and cars and so on. And that is what we call success. But uh, when you are knowing that there is afterlife and uh, you have to face all of them, if I ask again, what is success? Then it will be, it will have a contradiction. Like you have to obtain all the rules and follow all the rules and regulations to gain your assets. And also you have to maintain your religion either all the things you have collected i mean all the materialistic things will remain in earth nothing will go with you and you can't take anything from here in the days that followed cristiano began to read about islam he was not just curious he had a genuine desire to understand this religion that seemed to hold the answers to his spiritual questions he bought a copy of the quran translated into portuguese and began reading it regularly the first thing that caught his attention was the surah that talked about mary 
He was deeply moved by the story of the Virgin Mary and Jesus, peace be upon him, in the Holy Quran. The spiritual and human values that the Surah addressed were very similar to what he had been searching for all his life. He felt that these words were not just stories, but embodied deep truths that touched the soul. As the days passed, Ronaldo became more immersed in reading the Quran. He found new and useful meanings in each surah. The verses that talked about humility and kindness to others affected him deeply. He knew that the world saw him as a successful and bold person, but inside he felt that he needed spiritual guidance to restore his balance. One evening, while reading the Quran on his balcony overlooking the sea, Maybe. Ronaldo felt something he had never felt before. Tears streamed down his face without him knowing why. There was a strong sense of serenity and peace filling his heart. At that moment, he realized that Islam was not just a religion, but a way of life, a way that brought comfort and reassurance. However, making such a decision was not easy. Cristiano knew that his life as a public figure would be under the spotlight more than ever, and that this decision could spark controversy. He had responsibilities toward his family, his fans, and even his sporting career. However, his desire to find inner peace was stronger than any fears. The next morning, Cristiano went to one of the city's major mosques. He asked to meet the imam who had spoken to him on his first visit. Well, basically, the inner peace is the main thing. If you have everything, but if you don't have the inner peace, you have nothing. Else. When he sat with him, he told him about his feelings and experiences over the past weeks. He shared the peace he had found in Islam and his desire to learn more and get closer to God. The Imam was happy to hear these words. After several sessions of dialogue and learning, Cristiano decided to take the next step. The day he decided to pronounce the Shahada was a memorable one. People gathered in the mosque, some of whom had learned about the event from the media and others who had just come to pray. Everyone was waiting with anticipation, about to witness a historic moment. When Cristiano stood on the pulpit, the mosque was completely filled. The Imam began to talk about the importance of faith and sincerity, then invited Cristiano to pronounce the Shahada. In a confident but emotional voice, Cristiano said, I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and I bear witness that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Yeah, Muhammad Rasulullah was not only the messenger of Allah, and he is the prophet of the prophets. So basically, he is the prophet for all of the mankind around the world. I mean, all the prophets came and all the prophets talk about him, the last messenger. And the last messenger is the Muhammad himself. Peace be upon him. And the thing is, all other religions got biased or I mean, they got changed somehow. I mean the true, I mean the, they changed the tr truth theme about the religions and that's the main mistake where the other religions have done and uh, they bring the changes and they bias the religions and uh, that will change the theme overall so that's how the all the religions came up but Muhammad Islam was not only the prophet for the Islam he's the prophet for all mankind and without guidance I mean without the guidance of the creator the life is meaningless the impact of these words on those present was profound some cried while others could not believe what was happening but everyone felt the sincerity of that moment Cristiano Ronaldo, the player who filled the world with news and achievements, had found his inner peace in Islam. After his conversion, Cristiano's life changed in ways that no one expected. He continued to play football, but became more humble and spiritual. He talked about his spiritual experience in interviews, encouraging people to seek inner peace in their own ways. He also began to spend more time with his family, teaching his children the Islamic values he had learned. His relationships with people changed. He became more understanding of the needs of others and more giving. Even in his sporting career, everyone noticed an improvement in his physical and psychological level, as if his spiritual transformations affected every aspect of his life. In conclusion, the story of Cristiano Ronaldo is one of profound spiritual transformation, showing how fame and success cannot always bring inner peace. His journey to Islam was full of challenges but it was also filled with light and reassurance. In the end, Cristiano found in Islam what he had been searching for all these years, peace and certainty. Well, that's the thing. I mean, if you want to bring the conclusion, there is only one God. And uh, those who are worshipping many gods, I mean, I mean, those who are not believing gods, right? and uh, those who are not uh, believing any religion, I mean, I really want to say, just look around you. Just look 
just look at you you are the creation of almighty allah and uh, everything everything in this universe is belongs to almighty allah so if you are thinking you are just i mean if you are thinking that uh, you can beat almighty allah i mean how a man i mean how a creation can think that he can beat the creator that's insane and that really dumb so i think people should get i mean people should research and people should realize and people should uh, just think out of their mind like think broadly why you are here why you are in the earth and uh, why there is so much discrepancy and uh, i mean why the poor is very poor and why the riches are very rich why there is the reason so we have to get to the next life i mean the afterlife and we have to accountable for all the deeds we have done and uh, all the things we have done in the past and in the previous life we have to pay for that so that's all from today guys hope you all enjoy the video and uh, if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe you all soon in another interesting video and uh, yeah i'm really happy that christian ronaldo just uh, converted to islam so that's a very good news yeah see you all soon and then have fun good luck Lastly, Assalamu alaikum. Peace.